Hello everyone, welcome back to a new episode of Pentiment. Last time we left off, we started with our new character, Magdalene. And some one comment in particular gave me some interesting things. Um, apparently, this empiricist thing that I started out with, this is based off of what book I chose to get for Magdalene as Andreas, which is a super cool detail. The uh, other thing that I missed, I saw the name Mousefonger last time over by the convent. But it was actually Son of Mousefonger. I saw the name, so I just kind of glossed over it. And then, yeah, someone showed me the clip, and it's Son of Mousefonger. What was that noise? Something on my computer, I think. I don't know what. We'll, we'll cross that road when we come to it. I mean, weird! Wow! We're sitting here in... in, uh, Tassing. Why, what was that mysterious sound from the heavens? Okay, so... We, I mentioned Mousefonger, we went, uh, all along here and everything last time, so really, all I have to hit up is the bakery, Werner, Baltazar, and then I can go back to Drucker, and we've been everywhere else, I do believe. So, let's talk to you two idiots. Hey, Magdalene. Hey, Magdalene. What do you have to say about this? Can smell the anise on the breeds, reminds me when I was little, that always brought... Uh, anise cakes from Gret to help soothe my stomach when I was ill. Alright, how's, uh, how's Gret doing? There you are, Gret. Bless you, Magdalene. Yeah. That's just everyone's greeting in this town. Uh, I'm go- I don't know if I'm going to regret yet choosing barbs or not, because you- You went pretty hard on them, Magdalene. <laughs> it was kind of hilarious. Just how hard you went. Uh, hey, Carl. Good day, Mr. Struckerin. There's the rat house. Ooh, I, there was an examine prompt up there. Should check that out. Hello, father. Ah, oh, Magdalene, it's good to see you, but you've forgotten the mural sketches. You're sitting on my workbench at home. Would you mind grabbing them for me? I need to show them to the council. Yeah, of course. I'll be right back. Okay, we can come back over here. Thomas? Oh, your... Oh, your eye. Yeah, your eye must have gotten hurt in the, uh, in the attack. Wow, Werner, you... Barely look any different. Yorg is looking rough, though. Oof. Okay. Well, I wanna- I wanna talk to Balthazar and stuff, especially since I leaned into the... Inventor... route. Anything going on in here? We got some bone saws and stuff, about it. Okay, so let's hit this, and then I'm, uh, out, and I still have to examine that thing over there. Nazu? Ciao, Magdalene. I see. Hello. Hello, Balthazar. Balthus's workshop. I wonder if we can do another lesson soon. Magdalene, Magdalene! Yes. The cinnamon I added to the beer is perfect! Isn't that a spice? Yes, with many wonderful properties. The copper pots you helped me pipe are part of the process. Oh, I thought it was for something more... serious. Magdalene making beer is quite serious. Anyway... It's for the Christmas celebration! Oh, I suppose you don't have much time left. Quite right! The wheel of time stops for no man! But it's going to be wonderful! Cinnamon coffee from Ethiopia, cocoa from the New World... Uh... Oh. Jesus, Jesu Christu, Acha Danara Fastitu. Yeah, I'm, not, I, I'm sorry, I apologize. Jesus Christ, who has the money can do everything. Problem? Of course not, it's your money. Anyway, I'm quite excited about it. Clearly. And such alchemy is not normally my strong suit. And for all of Nazud's complaint about the cost, the base rye we're using is free. Really? Yes! Farmers had so much rye this year, they just couldn't use it all. Gret made us- get, Gret made as much bread with it as she could, but she wound up having to throw a lot out. So why not make beer? Yeah, why not? Or, I wish you the best of luck with it. Not vaguely. I, I definitely- I'm definitely getting a sense of the character I want to have for Magdalene here. Just very done with most people's shit. <laughs> Kinda? I don't know, I like it. Thank you. Uh-huh. Yeah. Alright, goodbye. This might not make me very liked by many people, but I like- I like the idea of Magdalene's just done with people's shit. 
Alrighty, so... The last thing I wanted to do is examine this. Rot House is the biggest building in Tassing. Balthus's clock took ages to build in place. Yeah, because I was, I was about to ask if that was the clock, if uh, that was the clock Balthus made. Well, there we go. Um, so now I guess we just need to go grab the thingy. I've done everything else as far as I remember last time. I exhaustingly explored everywhere, so let's go ahead and just grab this. And just explore the rest of the house, make sure there's nothing. I can sleep if I want. What would happen if I just went to sleep? Uh-huh. Trucker house upper. Mm-hmm. And... Wait, where was it exactly? It was supposed to be here, right? I didn't see it in there, but I might have just missed the prompt. I would have thought it was here. Oh, there it is. There it is, okay. The roundhouse mural sketches. I think this is what my dad wants. I think these are all the plans. What is... is this part of the plans? Uh. Stop. Huh. This isn't Dad's handwriting, I can actually kind of read this. An odd color, we don't have an ink like this here. This isn't Dad's handwriting, I can actually kind of read this. Thank God he's a printer. Well, whatever, I'll bring it just in case. Alright, better get these over to the route house. Oh my god, the thread puller is back. I mean, of course they would be, we have to... Is Mar- Margaret- oh god. Magdalene, are you going to be the one that- that keeps on... Uh, I mean, I'm guessing you're gonna be the one that keeps on the thing, but are you gonna be the one that finally puts the thread puller away? Found the mural plans in a strange note. I should ask Dad about it, uh, later, but right now I need to get them to the Red House in the North Commons. I almost called you Marguerite for some reason. I don't know why. I don't know why. I think I've played as a character named Marguerite in a previous game. And that's stuck in my head for some reason. Alrighty, well, let's just get back up here and give them what they want. The thread puller is back. I mean, there's less people in town now, so the possible people it could be is growing smaller by the day. Hmm. Alrighty. Let's get here in the rat house. Don't understand how we're still arguing about this. These murals should depict the truth. What we know is the truth. I don't think it's so simple, Klaus. You afraid of angering our lord, Sir Th Father Thomas? Sir Thomas. I think Father Thomas means that the truth is not so easily agreed upon. I don't know. I'm tired of arguing. I just wanted to look nice and show what happened. Magdalene, thanks for bringing these. Maybe illustrations will succeed where talking has failed. Done arguing with them. I'll see you at home for supper. It's alright, Magdalene. We don't need to see the drawings. It's not what... It's not that we don't understand what he's trying to do. Didn't realize we had upset him so much. Sounds like things got worse after I left. We've been arguing about this for almost two hours. For all the good it did us, he hasn't budged. What's the point of talking if you can't make any progress? Magdalene, can you speak to your father and help him see things from our point of view? So in the end, I ran to get your plans that you don't want to see, and now you want me to do something else for you? Let's, 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 let's I don't even know what you're talking about, because I would like to know what you're talking about. Father Thomas, I don't even know what you're talking about. What's your point of view? Klaus has strong, very strong opinions on how the history of Tassing of Kirsau Abbey should be portrayed. And those portrayals may upset some of our neighbors. Isn't the real concern that it's going to upset the Lord? Isn't everyone really worried about him coming here someday and seeing the revolt memorized on the- memorialized on the wall? Keep saying that we all disagree with him, I don't think I do, not entirely. Well, what do you think, York? I know I'm not the smartest man in this room, but I know what happened to my own dad. I know what he did. It doesn't feel right to ignore what happened to him. What happened to Otto? Look, you all knew my dad. I never had the chance. I don't want to make the people in this town angry. I don't want to make our lord angry. None of us do, but maybe there's a way to tell the story in a way that's true without upsetting anyone. That's all very complicated, you see, Magdalene. Try to get him to consider a portrayal of our history that's a little less inflammatory. My father was deeply affected by the revolt. It won't be easy to convince him of anything. I don't think it's as complicated as you think. So you want me to convince him to do what you say? I'm sure that, that will work. And to think the council's meant to be the best of tassing. 
I mean, we, we, we gotta lean into our, into our strengths here. Let's go for it. And I think the council's meant to be the best of tassing. Magdalene. Such speech is entirely uncalled for. We need to come to an agreement or call off the mural entirely. He's been wanting to paint this mural for years. You can't tell him no all of a sudden. And help us, Magdalene. Your father will listen to you. Alright, I won't promise anything though. He's already fine. But only so he can paint it, not on account of your bickering like children. Alright, I won't promise anything now. He's already had it he's already hard enough to convince. Now I'm going back home. This mess is taking up too much of my day already. And now we get a clock instead of all the other stuff because the Abbey's gone and we actually have a clock now. Interesting. Magdalene. Thank you for bringing the drawings to the Rat House. I'm sorry it was a waste of time. Those men don't know what they want. When I get the- when I tell them what I'm trying to do, they get scared. Then they talk and talk and talk. They talk all day and we're never any closer to a decision. I'm sick of it. Sick of the whole thing. Can you just start working on it? If they don't like it, they'll have to figure it out for themselves. They probably stop arguing if you just propose something more predictable. Dad, I'm worried about you. I know. I appreciate the concern. Suppose I haven't been this upset about something in a while. I'll get through it. I just need time. Why is it bothering you so much? We all- we hear all these stories about what this place is, how it came to be. And it feels like history is something that happened before, happened to other people. But 18 years ago, we lived through something, you and I, everyone in Tassing. Everyone wants to forget about it, pretend it didn't happen. You don't. No, I don't. All those years ago, I did nothing. I was worried for you, worried for Benjamin and Rachel and Esther. Yeah, and that's fair. Benjamin, Rachel, and Esther. I was so afraid that I'd lose you, I wouldn't have been able to bear it. In the end, so many people died anyway. Peter and Ulrich and... Andreas and all of the others. So yeah, Peter and Ulrich are dead. We did see Ulrich die. And we lived. Survivor's guilt. Dad, everyone says that it wouldn't have made any difference. If you and the others had fought, you would have died. I would have died. Maybe I could have stopped them from going to the mill. Or maybe we could have stopped the peasants from burning it down. But we'll never know. You can't change the past, Dad. I know, the least I can do is make sure it's not forgotten. Something happened here, we were part of it. I need to help people remember that. If you don't- if I don't do it, who will? You're right, Dad. I wish the men in that rat house saw me the way that you do. One way or another, you'll figure it out. I hope so. All the arguing has left me beat, I'm going to bed early. Alright, I'm gonna stay up a bit and write a letter to Esther. Good. Please say hello to her for, for me. And her parents. I know, Dad. Night, Magdalene. I love you. I love you, too. No. You two have been through a lot. All this running around has left me tired, too. It'd be nice to sit down at my desk and just write for a while. Okay. Well, we don't really have any objectives yet, for the most part, so... Let's get writing. Right to... right to Esther. Let's look at the uh, updates we have here. When I got to the Rat House, Dad was arguing with everyone on the council about what the Miro should uh, tell about Tassing and Kearsall's history. He got so upset that he left, the council asked me to get to Dad to see their point of view. I'm not even sure I see their point of view. Head home, see how he's doing. Dad feels a lot of pressure to represent our town's history properly in the mural. Thinks he let down his friends during the revolt and sees this as a way to set things right. Now that he's gone off to bed, I should sit down at my desk and write a letter to Esther in Prague. Oh, you're over there in Prague. Daughter of Benjamin and Rachel, Jewish printers from Prague, born in Tassing during the revolt of 1525, friend and epistolarian of Magdalen. Cool. It's nice that you uh, made it through it all, Esther. Let's uh, not sleep, let's write. Alright, where to begin? Oh, I should write to Esther. Dearest Esther, 
hope you've been well. Autumn was just here in Tassing at last. I hope you and your family are well. Dad sends his regards to your parents like usual. I hope you've been well. Autumn has reached us here in Tassing at last. Spent the last few days collecting oat galls with Sister Gertrude. I don't suppose you have the chance to do that in Prague. Sister Gertrude has been teaching me how to grind them into a smooth ink. It's difficult work, but you'll find no better ink anywhere in Bavaria. I'll send along a bottle with this letter. Oh, did I mention? Dad started a new project. He's painting a mural of Tassing's history in our new rod house to memori memorialize the revolt. The whole thing has me thinking about my own family history. Past, present, future. I don't think I want to stay in Tassing forever. It's a quaint place to grow up, but I'm 20 now. I think shop has been in the family for years. I'm looking forward to taking it over. Hmm. I mean, I I don't think you're going to want to stay in Tassing forever. It's a quaint place to grow up, but I'm 20 now. Printing shop's been in the family for years. I'm looking forward to taking it over. I'm going to say this one. I think Magdalene would want to get out of here at some point. Leaving behind uh, your father is going to be hard, but... I don't think I want to stay in Tassing forever. It's a quaint place to grow up, but I'm 20 now. Dad says I should take over the shop, but I want to do more with my life. I'll just take over a print shop in some tiny town in the Alps. If I married a master printer, then I could become part of the Printer's Guild. Then I'd be able to send Dad my extra earnings and make a name for myself in one of the cities. And yes, before you break the nib off your pen, I will come visit you in Prague, I promise. Try to make time to visit before winter. Life has been bustling here. Dad's been busy with the Rodhouse mural, so I've taken over the w in the workshop. I'm sure it will be a sight to behold once it's finished. Right back to me soon. All my love, Magda. No, oh, well, that was a cute letter. And we're moving forward quickly. Meeting at the Rat House. Go to bed. Let's sleepy. It's late. You should get some rest soon. Uh, nothing else for me to do, right? Just, just to make sure here. Uh, hopefully Esther rides back soon. It's getting late. I should get some rest. Okay, yeah, so we should just, uh, take a nappy. Yep, we've talked to everyone, basically, so... Go to sleep. Time to take a nip-nap. No need for those blankets. We don't need those where we're going. Beautiful, beautiful. Ooh. Ugh. Oh, shit. Dad? Dad? Magdalene. Dad! Hang on, I'm- hang on, I'm coming. Oh my god, this- mm. Dad! Magdalene. What happened? Are you alright? You're bleeding. Someone... came into the house. They hit me over the head. I'll go get Dr. Stoltz. Try not to move, Dad. Magdalene, it's not safe. Whoever attacked me. This wound is too deep for me to take care of on my own. We need Dr. Stoltz. I, I, I can't carry you across town, Dad. I won't be long, I swear. Please just hold on. Magdalene, be careful. I will. I'll be right back, I promise. This bastard. Yeah, you're telling- so, so it's someone interested in making me stop the mural. I mean, once again, Thomas fits that category. Thomas, you bastard. You fit this category. <sighs> and you could just keep making people do your dirty work. I just- I don't trust you, Thomas. I don't. I don't. I mean, you know, there's other characters that have reason to be against this, but... I don't think it- I don't think it's Yorg. I mean, it could be Werner. It- uh, Baltus wasn't here. I- I'm still sticking to Father Thomas. Do you know why anyone would want to attack you, Klaus? No. Maybe someone didn't like one of the books I sold him. Are you sure you didn't see a shadow and hit your head on the printing press? Come on, Yorg. You saw the workshop. Somebody was just looking for something. A burglar and Tassing. That's preposterous. 
Well, if it wasn't an attack, what was it? Enough. It was a deliberate blow to the head, unless any of you wish to debate my diagnosis. No, of course not. No, as I thought. Truthfully, Klaus, I'm surprised the blow didn't kill you. You have a strong skull. It's a grave injury, Magdalene. You'll need to help take care of your father. I will. Whatever I need to do. Good. Of course, the mural will have to be called off now. Klaus, you absolutely cannot get out of bed. N no it has to be done. This is too important. Just give me some time to rest. I'll find a way to make it work. I don't think we need to cancel the entire project. Can't we just wait? Klaus, your health comes first. Anyway, we haven't been able to agree on what the mural should be. Indeed, it might be best to abandon the entire idea. Yeah, I bet you'd like that, you bastard. <laughs> I've just- I've just decided in my head that Thomas is guilty. <laughs> With respect, Father Thomas, you are not on this council. Yes, yes, just offering an opinion. I can paint the mural. What? Mags, quit joking around. Well, I know you want to help your dad, but aren't you too young for something this big? I've been painting since before I could walk. You don't think I'm good enough? Old enough to run the print shop by myself, and Dad trusts me to illustrate the books. Isn't that enough? I'm older than Otz, and he's on the town council, and he doesn't even do anything. Uh... <laughs> I've been painting since before I could walk. You don't think I'm good enough? I mean, it's not that you're not good at painting, Mags. It's just... Painting a mural this large and complicated will take a lot of skill and expertise. So... So that's why we were having your dad make it. He's been making art forever. I agree with Paul. Klaus needs home care. You're best suited for that, Magdalene, not a mural. What is that supposed to mean? Well, are you sure you're up for it? Physically, I mean? It's quite demanding. You'd be on the scaffolding and could fall. What would any of you know about it? Are you not listening to me? I've been doing this work for years. Alright, I can see where this is going. I suppose I should not be surprised. I shouldn't be surprised. Yeah, what would any of you know of it? Are you not listening to me? I've been doing this work for years. All right, I can see where this is going. I suppose I shouldn't be surprised. Yeah, you're, you're all just doing this because I'm a woman, so... What would any of you know? Yeah, what would any of you know about it? But all right, I can see where this is going. I suppose I shouldn't be surprised. You can second guess me all you want, but Dad knows what it takes. I can do it, Dad. You don't trust Magdalene to do the Merle to hell with a lot of you. Close. If you don't trust her, you don't trust me. I'll never do any work for this council again. Alright, I say we let her. Doesn't look like we have much of a choice. Very well. Uh, this means the thread puller's gonna come after me now! <sighs> alright, Magdalene, you can do it. But you still need to talk to us about what you're doing, alright? Fine, but I'm taking Dad's ideas into account. Well, we'll figure it out. Thanks, Magdalene. Rest up, Klaus. Do my best, Jorg. Well, this happened, but yeah, now the thread puller's after us. Magdalene, just a moment. Yes, what is it? Your father is lucid right now, but his injury is severe. His current demeanor is misleading. I know the injury is severe, Werner. I saw all the blood. Magdalene, there's damage to his brain. He may have a few weeks, maybe even a few months left. But he's not going to survive. Can we take him to see a surgeon? No, there has to be something you can do. <sighs> can't we take him to see a surgeon? No, he can't be moved in this condition. In fact, he shouldn't be moved at all. Even if he could, I don't think the finest Italian surgeons would know how to deal with trauma like this. So... He's just going to die? And there's nothing I can do about it? You can make him comfortable and you can enjoy the time you have left. Time will run out before long. Werner's actually being nice, at least. Ugh. Damn it. Magdalene has like no one left. Well, this sucks. I love this thing. Because it has like the months, the day, everything. Dad needs to be able to see the mural in its finished form. But I don't know how much time he has left. Renner said it could be a few months or. 
how to protect him. I'll pick up where Dad left off. He wanted to paint the history of Tassing from its earliest days to the revolt. I'll start with the earliest part of Tassing's history, the pagan tribes and the Romans. Then I'll move on to the founding of the Abbey and Tassing Saints. After that, I should find a way to represent our recent history, depicting the revolt as important to Dad. People in Tassing might know some of the town's history, but not all of it. Dad said the librarian Kearsall had those records. He was going to write to the last prioress to see if she had any information. I should write to her now while I'm thinking about it. Convincing the council. Alright, well, we have an objective now. Mother Illuminata was the last librarian and librarian in prioress at Kearsall. Dad thinks she may know something about Tassing's early history that could help me with the mural. I should write to her now. Yeah, she left when the Benedictines left. It is so cool to be playing as Magdalene right now. Alright, where to begin? Dad told me the last prioress at Kearsall knew something about the old history of Tassing. He said she became the... abbess of a convent in Boulogne. Is that how you say that? One of the largest cities in Italy, Boulogne has been a center of the arts for centuries. It houses a well-known university which was home to both Dante and Petrarch. Yep, I know about Dante, Dante and Petrarch. And yeah, I don't... Is it, is it below? I, I don't remember. I mean, obviously, in the US, this refers to a very specific kind of meat called bologna, and this is how it's spelled, but I don't know if that's the correct way. I don't think I've ever actually even heard this city actually pronounced, and if I do, I don't remember it, so... Whoa, look at the crazy chameleon. You're cool. Yes, it's Santa Margarita. I should write to her. Small town in the Republic of Genoa, along the coast of the Ligurian Sea. Mother Illuminata, abbess of Santa Margarita, formerly prior to Kiersal Abbey, formerly librarian, formerly f abbess of Santa Margarita. I should write to you as prioress. My name is Magdalene Druckerin. I do not believe we ever met, as I was very young when you left Kearsall. I'm the daughter of Klaus Strucker, Magdalene. We are printers from Tassing. Hmm... Let's, let's give a name. You were acquainted with my father. He bought many books in the library before that terrible fire consumed the place. I'm writing because my father and I are creating a mural in the Tassing Rout House. I'm going to tell the history of our community and of Kearsall as well. We have only legends and folklore, since of course all of Kearsall's books were destroyed in the fire. I was hoping you could tell us something about the early history of the town, when the Romans were here. If you know anything about the early history of the Abbey itself, we would also be glad to hear of it. We would appreciate any help you could give us, and we hope you are well. Father always spoke highly of you, especially how you cared for the sisters after the fire. Especially how you cared for the library and its books. My father always spoke highly of your piety and intellect. If you would not mind a personal question, was it hard to return to Italy after being here for so many years? Spoke highly of you, especially how you cared for the sisters after the fire. Especially how you cared for the library and its books. Highly of your piety and intellect. That one sounds just like... I don't know, I'm just trying to compliment you. Spoke highly of you, especially how you cared for the library and its books. Thank you again, Magdalene. Alright, there we go. So when am I going to get to more solving of attacks and murders? I want to finish the mural before Christmas. I, before Christmas, I should start planning tomorrow. I should head to bed and get as much rest as I can. Okay, yeah, the it seems way more linear now. Like, it's not even letting me leave the house currently. So... It's late, I should get some rest soon. Let's go to sleep. Oh, actually, I probably could have went and checked on uh, Klaus. Probably should have done that, but... Oh, Magdalene. I gotta make sure nothing happens to you. I hope Caspar comes back, because Caspar got out of town before stuff got really bad. So, I'm hoping Caspar will just show up in town at some point. Oh, time is progressing quickly. Okay. Wow. All the way to November 6th. 
Oh, Mr. Struckrun, I have a few letters here addressed to you. Salva Guardia. Take care now. Thank you, sir. I love wax seals for uh, our wedding. Um, my wife, my wife did traditional wax seals for our wedding invitations. It was so cool. Everyone that received one was like, "This is awesome." Mother Illuminata wrote back to me. Hope her response helps me paint the mural. Mistress Truckerin, thank you for your letter. I hope this reply finds you and your father in good health. I remember you both, as your father would carry you between the rooms, the rows of our library in its final years. I also remember your late mother and brother. God keep their souls. While we did have some books that discuss Tassing's past, it's likely they were mythological as what your neighbors believe. That said, I remember one of the peasants, Tillman Kroetzer, read about the history of the town. I know he died during the revolt, perhaps his family knows some of what he learned. I should also say that it's not true that all of Kearsall's books were destroyed by the fire. Andreas Mailer managed to save some from the flames, God rest his soul. The aftermath of that terrible night, cataloging and preserving the surviving books was not at the top of any of our minds. Even so, this topic has stirred a memory within me. Several years before the fire, there was a death at Kearsall, the murder of Baron Rothvogel. He had mentioned something about finding a copy of Historia Tassie, comprehensive chronicle of your home. I had forgotten about it until now, because the murder dominated all of our thoughts in the days and weeks that followed. Yeah! It troubles me now, because I recall that the late Father Matthias was also reading a copy of Historia Tassier shortly before he died. He never accounted for either book's whereabouts. They may have been hidden somewhere in the library and went up with everything else. Perhaps Prior Ferenc took it from the Baron after the murder. I forget exactly what happened to Historia Tassier. Because... For a second I was like, wait, did, did Martin steal it when he robbed the Baron? But no, I don't think so. Ferenc had an interest in books of all sorts, of course, but it seems like an odd thing to do in the moment. Yeah, I remember them saying, didn't it disappear at some point? I want to say I remember somebody saying that it's been, it's been a minute. Then again, only God knows what he did and why he did it. Miklaus Haverel, the Baron's manservant, believed it may have been stolen by the town thief Martin Bauer. Okay, yeah, I was right. I thought so. I understand he was killed by the mob along with the miller on the night of the fire. If he did steal the book, he took its whereabouts to his grave. If any of his family remain in Tassing, perhaps he could ask them. As for the history of the Abbey, I fear that was also lost in the blaze. However, as Sacristan, Prior Matthew learned a great deal about the project. Oh, look at Matthew with the new hair. Appointed official in a monastery responsible for maintaining the sacristy where vestments and objects used in ceremonies are kept, the sacristan is often called the treasurer. I have not kept in contact with him, but I know that he is now the Archdeacon of Sion. Once a free imperial city of the Holy Roman Empire, Sion became the capital of Valais when the canton joined the Swiss Confederacy following the Swabian War in 1499. Wow. Matthew really went up in the world. Are you and Rudiger still together, though? He's no longer a Benedictine, but uses his family name. Foshigi, so? If you write to him soon, your letter may reach to him before snow covers Valais. Kenton in the Swiss Alps, Valais became an associate member of the Swiss Confederation in 1529. Please convey my best wishes to your father. He was a good friend to the Abbey in its better years. Despite the violence that occurred, I hold no ill will toward anyone from Tassing. Pray that you have seen better days since that night, and that God forgives the many errors we made. God bless you. Mother Illuminata, Abbess of Santa Margarita. Oh, Hester wrote to me as well. My dear Magda, I pray it goes well with you. Prague has been blessedly warm as of late. We are still residing outside of the city, but we found a place to stay nearby. Father thinks the king's expulsion order will be lifted eventually. Yeah... Yeah, you're still not allowed to come into the city. He says Jews are too important to printing here for the king to push us out forever. Speaking of printing, your ink was well received indeed. I've made several prints with it. They look lovely on the wall. Elisha has taken to making his own ink from scraps he found around the house after he saw yours. Mother was furious when he spent several finnigs trying to find lapis at the market. She set him to scrubbing the floors for it. it. Took him three days. I'm glad you're keeping busy, even though it keeps you from visiting. 
Father says we'll have room whenever you decide to make an appearance. Though really, if you don't plan to stay in Tassing, you want to come sooner rather than later. There are plenty of beautiful young Christian men around town, printers and academics alike. Or maybe something else, you'd have your pick. Prague is a good city for me as well. Before the expulsion, there was a handsome man at synagogue, Simon, who caught my eye. His father is a merchant and he's a doctor. He went to the University of Padua. Can you believe it? I'd quite like to marry him if I can find him again. Anyway, I think you'd have even better luck than me. The boys would swoon at a beautiful blonde artist from the Alps. Please keep us abreast of your father's mural. We'll have to come see you when it's finished. Blessings. Esther. Well... I'll have to ride Esther back tonight. Should head home and check on Dad. Yeah, it's much more linear now. We don't get as many opportunities just to walk around town, which is fine. Hey, Dad. How are you feeling? Ugh, Magdalene. Certain apparatus is still a struggle, I'm afraid. The dizziness makes my stomach turn, so I'd rather not eat at the moment. Are you sure? I can bring up something light, like milk or broth. Oh no, I can't stomach anything just yet. But tell me, where are you off to? I need to get started on the first part of the mural today, the old history. Mother Illuminata didn't know much about Tassing's early history, but she did give me a few places to start. Why not ask Black Till if his grandfather told him any stories? Illuminata said he used to read about the Romans, yeah. Till did know a lot about it. Mother Illuminata, Magdalene. Right. Yes, Mother Illuminata. Young Krautzer has mentioned those tales from time to time, yes. He comes by to borrow books now and then. Usually when he's found something, some interesting old ruin out in the fields, you might ask him about that. Ill Peter's always harumped about how no one paid attention to the- any attention to the old ways anymore, too. Yeah, I would like to go see Peter. I'm sure he'll have some stories to tell about old Tassing. You might stop to talk to him. Didn't think of that. I can hardly understand him these days, but it's worth asking. Hmm. I didn't think of that. Thanks, Dad. Of course, Magda. It's nice to feel useful if I am stuck here in bed. Nonsense. I'm just glad you're awake. I might talk to Smokey, too. The old charcoal burner seems to know more about what's in the woods around town than anyone else. That and he's a known gossip. He's always been kind to me when I chat with him. I'm certain he'll know something about the ruins. You may hear something worth your while, at any rate. I'll go talk with him. What about the ruins or the mines? Can't just use books and stories alone. I want to explore whatever is left over from the Romans and before. The salt mine and Roman ruins are the oldest parts of Tassing, so it only makes sense to see what they left behind. Ah, uh, you take after your mother. She was always thorough in her research. You always said that's what good artists do, Dad. Careful, all right. I know the twins mess around near the salt mine, but I don't want you getting hurt. Don't know why Yor doesn't keep them in line, always making trouble, those two. Only about me, Dad. I'll be careful. They don't have brains enough to keep out of trouble. I do. That's what happens when you name your kids after pagan gods instead of saints, I guess. At least Artemis actually knows how to read. I don't think Apollo can even spell his name. Yeah. At least Apollo actually knows- or Artemis actually knows how to read. I don't think Apollo can even spell his name. Boy struggles with his mother's Magdalene. Don't shame him for it. Not everyone's a printer's daughter. Yeah, that's fair. Don't forget your other chores while you're running around town, alright? We still have a household to run. I'll get to them, Dad. Good, good. Better get going if I want to do all of that today. See you later, Dad. Good luck, Magdalene. The missing book. Yeah, we have... The Historia Tassie. Um, a lot of updates and things to do. Suggested that Martin Bowery's family might have a book. She also thought I should write to Matthew, Kearsall's old sacristan. Peter's been around forever. He might remember some of the old stories. Black Till's grandfather read a lot about the history. Maybe he's made it a family tradition. Smokey spends all his time in the forest. I think he might know something interesting about the ruins or mines. And in her letter, Mother Illuminata mentioned that two copies of A History of Tassing had gone missing before the Abbey fire. She suggested that Martin Bauer stole one of the copies before he fled town. I wonder if he hit the book somewhere before he left. I should ask around. Would be cool to find that, finally. And Artemis, daughter of Veronica and Big Jorg Gertner, twin sister of Apollo. Grandson of the late Till Krautzer. 
husband of Eva, father of Christina, maintains his family's interest in the history of Tassing. Oh, you're you're Eva's new husband. Interesting. I mean, you yeah, you were in there. Ill Peter, the elderly father of Peter Gertner. Ill Peter is perpetually on death's door, but continues to work the field in spite of it. He's the oldest man in town. Uh, you're survive. You're out surviving a lot of people. Uh, and then that, yeah, that's just the meeting at the route house that's giving me the update. Okay, um, I should be good. We probably... Last save two minutes ago. Let's walk outside just to make sure that the game saves. Or just downstairs. Should save then? Yeah, it saves every time you transition. Alright. Cool. So, hope you've enjoyed this episode of Pincement, and I'll see you next time for some more.